Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use TLSS Super Resolution and Anti-Lazing in Final Fantasy VII Remake. This guide will work on any PC with an RTX GPU. I'll test the game on my Windows PC. That has a Ryzen 50 Standard X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. In order to achieve this, I'll be using Luma TLSS Upscaling Mod. It only works in DirectX 11 mode, developed by Izue. I'm not sure if I pronounced the word correctly. You can download the mod for free from Nexus Mods. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from it. I'll show you its features. The mod replaces in-game TA with DLSS. DLSS works seamlessly with the game's dynamic resolution scaling. Latest version of the game automatically disables dynamic resolution scaler when the base FPS is higher than 60. But even at native resolution, TA makes the image quality look a bit blurry. It also produces some noticeable texture shimmering in the environment. Improved HDR. My monitor does not support HDR, so I'll run the game without it. Adjustable film grain post-processing effect. HDR only. Adjustable bloom and vignette post-processing effect. When using DLSS, you need to ensure that the in-game motion blur effect is disabled. Otherwise, you'll observe a weird blur-like effect around Cloud's big sword. There is no in-game setting to disable motion blur, so I'll be disabling it via engine.ini file. We'll be adding a few lines to it. In order to get engine.ini commands working in this game, I'll be using FFF7 hook. Installation instructions have also been provided. We just need to install Reshade version 6.6.0 with add-on support. Need to install it in the game's directory where the game's main exe file is present. In the Win64 folder, extract the contents of Luma mod to the same directory. Need to download DLSS for upscaler DLL file. It's available on Tech Power of website. Just need to add dash DX11 launch argument to the game via Steam to run the game in DirectX 11 mode. The game even supports DirectX 12 mode, but this mod is not compatible with it. I've already done my testing. When I used the latest version of DLSS for upscaler, model preset selected was not K. I think it was F. So I simply used TLSS tweaks to change the model preset to K to activate the transformer model of TLSS 4. I'll show you the complete process in this video. The developer has also provided some engine variables that can be used with this mod. This line basically disables the game's dynamic resolution scaler, forces DLA. These lines can be used to enable TLSS subscaler. For example, if we want to use the ultra quality preset of TLSS subscaler, just set dynamic res minimum and maximum screen percentage values to 80. For using the quality preset of TLSS subscaler, set these values to 67. First, I'll run the game without any mods installed. Highlight the game's image quality with TA. In order to run the game in DirectX 11 mode, select the game in your Steam library, click on the settings cog here under the game's banner. Click on properties, click on general, under launch options, add this line. Play. In game settings, full HD resolution, display mode, borderless, full screen, texture resolution, shadow resolution settings set to high, frame rate 120, can't go higher than this. SDR mode, monitor does not support HDR, that's it. Yeah, we are in, just check out clouds hair. Hair is looking a bit soft and there is some noise around it pixelated see now just check out these light sources when viewed from a far off distance these light sources produce a shimmering like effect see completely stationary and now check out these balconies of this red building they are also producing that shimmering effect the fine textures I am completely stationary. Image quality is not stable. I'm gonna leave just to be safe. Okay, now I'll install DLA. First, just download Reshade version 6.6.0. Click on download Reshade 6.6.0 with full add on support. Click on the green bar, download will start. Download the latest version of TLSS Subscaler from Tech Power of website. At the time of recording this video, it's version 310.4.0. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers, the download will start. I'll be using TLSS tweaks to set the model preset of TLSS 4 to K. We'll also use it to enable TLSS debug overlay. You can download TLSS tweaks for free from Nexus Mods website. Just click on manual download. Under the latest version of TLSS tweaks, click on slow download. 
We'll use the latest version of FF7 hook to use the engine variables. Version 1.8a available on Nexus mods for free. Click on manual download here. Click on slow download. The download will start. This is the games page on PC Gaming Wiki website. We need to create an engine.inf file in the following directory. I'll be using the following lines to disable depth of field and motion blur in game effects. Download the latest version of Luma mod. Click on files. Latest version is 1.2 at the time of recording this video. Click on manual download. Click on slow download. The download will start. First, I'll install Reshade, run its exe file only for single player games. From this list, look for Final Fantasy 7. Two exe files popped up. You need to select the exe file which is present in this directory, Win64 folder. Click on Next. Second option selected, DirectX 10, 11, 12. Next. Default effects. Next. Optional add ons. Next, finish, that's it. Now I'll install Luma mod. Open its archive file. Select all of the files and folders present inside this archive file. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Now open end folder, binaries folder, Win64 folder. Paste the files here. You can see reshade files are present in this directory. Now I'll install DLSS Subscaler and just open its archive file that you downloaded earlier. Copy this TLL file nvngx underscore TLSS. Need to paste it in the same directory where we install Luma mod and folder binaries win64 right here. Now I'll install DLSS tweaks to change the model preset of DLSS for upscaler. Open DLSS tweaks archive file and just select the highlighted files txgi.tll dlss tweaks config.exe and dlss tweaks.ini copy go back paste them here need to change the name of txgi.tll file set it to winmm.tll luma mod already uses the file name txgi don't want dlss tweaks to conflict with it select the extracted files three of them copy and just paste them in the games install directory where you install Luma mod and folder binaries win64 right here. Now just run DLSS tweaks config.exe file. I'll show you how to enable DLSS debug overlay. We'll be using the overlay to verify whether DLSS is working. Click on the drop down bar next to override DLSS HUD and select force enable as the option. This will enable DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, set it to default or force disable. I'll also enable DLSS auto exposure setting from here. Click on the drop down bar next to override auto exposure and select force enable. DLSS auto exposure setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment. Also fixes texture chambering effect produced by shiny objects. Time to change the model preset for DLSS. Click on the drop down bar next to DLA and select K as the preset. Do the same thing for any preset of DLSS subscaler that you are going to use. I'll be using ultra quality presets. So just click on the drop down bar next to ultra quality and select K. Click on save. We are done. Now I'll install FF7 hook. Open its archive file. Copy this DLL file X input 1 underscore 3. Need to paste it in the same directory where we install Luma mod and folder binaries folder win64 folder paste the file here now we need to create the games engine.ini file for the purpose of using engine variables just open documents directory in this directory look for a folder name my games open it open final fantasy 7 remake folder open saved folder config folder in this directory you need to create a new folder name it as windows no editor no space open this folder create a new text file here and name it as engine.ini change the extension from .txt to .ini hit enter yes select the file right click open with notepad create a system settings header you can find these lines on the games pc gaming wiki web page see ok i'll add these lines for disabling depth of field copy paste them under system settings section 
right here now i'll disable the in-game motion blur effect copy these lines under motion blur section disable motion blur copy paste i'll add one more line this one for force enabling dla disable the in-game dynamic resolution scaler paste it under the system settings section right here now click on file save close engine.ini file after closing the file selected right click properties check the setting read only apply ok we are ready to run the game play in the games menu you will see reshades prompt at the top of the display just press home keyboard key to open reshade and luma mod menus expand luma mod menu make sure tlss super resolution setting is enabled post processing settings i'll just disable bloom move the slide to the extreme left win net effect film grain nil sharpness level this is rcas 10 multiplier default values 50 the higher values of rcas make the noise around clouds hair more aggressive more noticeable so i'll drop the value from 50 to 20 it's up to you I'll load the same sequence. Check out the TLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Render preset use this K version of the upscaler 310.4.0. Yeah, this is the transformer model of TLSS 4. Base resolution full SD, upscale to full SD. DLA is being used. DLSS auto expose setting, it's on. Check out the image quality. Oh my god, it's looking so clean. The noise around clouds hair has been reduced significantly by DLA compared to TA and check out these light sources moving away from them barely any shimmering is produced now even during fast visual motion amazing improvements yeah check out the hair close up view so clean and check out these balconies completely stationary no shimmering effect is produced around the guard railings moving away even during motion amazing results produced by TLA highly recommended from my side I'll also show you how to use TLSS upscaler we need to edit the games engine.ini file go to documents my games folder Final Fantasy 7 remake saved config windows no editor engine.ini file selected right click properties uncheck read only attribute apply ok open the file under system settings header just remove this line r.dynamicres.operationmode mode equal to 1 this force enables dla replace this line with the following lines these two i'll be using the ultra quality preset of tlss subscalar that's why i have set dynamic res min screen percentage and max screen percentage values to 80 if you want to use the quality preset of tlss set these values to 67 click on file click on save close don't remove the lines for disabling depth of field and motion blur post processing effects select engine.ini file right click properties enable read only attribute apply ok run the game load the same sequence check out tlss debug overlay in the bottom left corner base resolution 1536 by 864 pixels upscale to full hd resolution yeah this is the ultra quality preset of tlss upscaler image quality is still looking sharp but i am observing some noise around clouds here compared to dla see not observing any shimmering in the background balconies the guard railing image is very stable and check out these light sources moving away from them yeah no shimmering effect is produced so good results produced by both tlss upscaler and tla i'll show you some combat as well lock 120 fps here not hitting the gp bottleneck skip the cutscene combat time swinging a sword and no artifacts are produced It's highly recommended to use Luma mod in this game. It replaces the in-game blurry looking TA with TLSS. Both TLA and DLSS super resolution can be used. 
So that's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.